the effects and the growth of black soldier fly larvae fed with cassava peel. As we all know, one of the readily available and accessible waste that is commercially available is cassava peels. Cassava peels. Now, in this bow punch, these two bow punch, we want to test the effect of black soldier fly larvae fed with purely cassava peels. Inside these two bow ponds, we place 10 grams of arched units inside these two ponds. And we want to see the effect of cassava peel only on their growth. I want to see the effect of cassava peels on their growth. We've introduced our new needs into the second feeding of which we want to see how effective this waste that is commercially available and accessible within our locality, how the larvae will do on this feed. We've introduced them into the second feeding. After hatching them for six days, we now introduce them into second feeding, which is purely cassava peels. Now you can follow us and subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates. The next 10 to 12 days, we show you the effects of feeding black soldier fly larvae with pure cassava peels. As you can see with their response, they are really enjoying the feed. They are really enjoying the feed with their response. They are feeding on it. Now let's see the effect on the growth and the size of larvae fed with only cassava peels. Also, we have other bow ponds in which we use. 50% cassava peels and 50% soya waste. 50-50. 50% cassava peels and 50% soya waste. We want to see the effect. We call it uh, in our dialect. We call it uh, a risoya. A risoya in our dialect. That's the soya waste. Now we want to see the effect of this same age units on 50 50 cassava peels and soya waste you can follow us and see how these wastes are being turned into high quality protein with black soldier fly farming and contact us to learn about this farming also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative and educative video on this black soldier fly farm. Thank you and you're welcome.